<laughs> Welcome back to another Super Joe Pacconi Brothers Super Show where we talk about only Nintendo. <laughs> of course. No, not Sega, PlayStation, not your Xbox One, not your Sega Master System, not your Sega, Sega, Genesis, not your Atari 2600, sorry old school fans, we're only talking about Nintendo course so we haven't recorded a podcast in a while and I had a couple of very nice people telling me oh I miss you where have you been we really miss you how you talk about paratroopers and cooper troopers and the differences between the green shell the red shell and oh uh, so you're so funny, and some nice stuff from a couple of listeners, and then, of course, you get the bad boys who have to bring you down. Oh, I never see you on the message boards. Who are you to even have this podcast? Oh, where's your name on the leaderboards? You think you're so, you should deserve a podcast, and I... Um, to those people, I would say, hey, get your own podcast then. Be my guest. What'd you make that pizza with? And Toby's beef and cheese whiz. I don't like that fucking sound. Today we're going to be talking about the aesthetic quality of the design of Mario, I guess. And maybe we could talk about other things too, because I really only have a couple of things that I wanted to mention about that. Uh, how Mario, I love how he has red overalls, just like Roger Rabbit and Mickey in the Clock Cleaners cartoon. And gloves too where do these guys get their gloves like that oh it's so cool uh mickey roger rabbit mario but isn't that funny how those are my three favorites roger rabbit mickey and mario i love them you couldn't get enough of it you ate nintendo you drank nintendo you slept nintendo Let's try this on for size. You've got the Mario Brothers arcade game. Then it goes to Mario 1. Mario 1, very straightforward. Super Mario Brothers. But I just wanted to mention that iconic imagery of Mario shooting through the air, holding... A mushroom. Can you get any better than that? That's what I'm talking about when I say that there's something really special about that imagery of Mario. He's very powerful. We don't know a lot about him just yet. He has this mushroom, but I've never played the game yet. I'm, I'm new to this. I just see this image and... I'm like, well, I'm I'm intrigued. Then you see later on he has a turn up in his arm where the mushroom used to be. And now I'm very interested because well, is this a new power up? Am I going to be getting bigger when I eat this turn up? And or is this something that I'm going to be spitting out? They don't show it on the box what you do with it but it's so iconic is what i'm getting at then you start to notice 
in the later photos of the photographs of Mario, he starts to lose his items. He's no longer carrying anything, but now he's in the raccoon suit. He has the raccoon tail. So they leave it a little bit less vague, which I think was a mistake. I think that it was the mystery that was the selling point of those games, not necessarily what those power-ups were. But man, when they changed Mario from the red overalls to the blue overalls, what a, a switch that I think And that's interesting too, because it's a Nintendo Switch.